Welcome back. So you have to remember, whenever we are transporting data from our backend tier to our front end tier, we need to kind of send something over the internet. And we can't use c -sharp objects, but we can use something closely related to it. Now, what I'm showing you guys right here is actually XML. Now, you can go and read up on XML. That's one way to transport data over the wire. I don't think I want to use XML. It's, it's still possible and there's still a lot of systems out there that do use XML. But in the, in the last five years or something, JSON has started to grow. And if I jump into JSON right here, you'll see the structure, there's a small difference. Look at this right here, you have, you'll notice we have a note, this is XML, and then we have a to, we have a from, that's, you can see this is kind of an object, right? But if we look at the JSON, and I'm just going to jump into a customer right here, you'll see the same idea, but here it's, it's less information to display the same thing, right? Because here you notice I have a from, a to right here and a from right here, but I have a start and an end tag. You don't need that inside JSON, you just need to have a property name. So it's, I feel that it's a lot easier to read this because it's a lot more object oriented. But again, you just have to understand you can also send data as XML if you want to. You can actually also send data as plain old text if you want to. And I've seen a lot of solutions where you just use comma separated strings or something like that. And you pass that back and forth between the front end and the back end. It is possible, but it's just easier to use these object oriented things. And also because people are using your REST API somewhere in the world and they're just used to now either getting XML back, but I think in most cases, they're actually used to getting JSON back. So let's discuss JSON before we continue. JSON is JavaScript object notation, right? So it's a way for us to uh, define objects inside a JavaScript-like language. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to learn JavaScript yet. We'll teach that later, but you can have a look right here. Let me just scroll down because they have a few very simple examples about what an object actually is inside JSON. And notice right here how similar it actually is. We have a curly bracket in the start right here. So notice in our code as well, curly bracket in the start to define an object. Jumping back. Then you have some kind of string defining a property and then a colon. So I have a string defining a property and a colon. And then I have the actual value right here in the end. Then I do a comma and I try again or I end it, right? So the same thing going on here. Then I do a comma and I do it again. Then I do a comma and I do it again, right? So that's kind of how uh, you structure a JSON object. Pretty easy, right? It's the same thing if you want to kind of put in an array, you just put in square brackets and then the actual object. And we're doing the exact same thing right here. We're putting in square bracket and then the first object, comma, then the second object, right? So that's, that's JSON for you, it's that simple. And again, it's just a way for us to structure some data we want to send over the wire to kind of receive it somewhere else in the world. Now XML, if you want to dive into that, go and do it in another, I'll show you maybe in another video. It's not something I'm going to focus on, but it's kind of the same idea. You can have a node, right? And that can have some properties in this case. Go and check it out if you want to. There's a link right here. Let's focus on JSON. Now, if I scroll further down, what can I actually send? What kind of values can I send using a plain JSON setup? And these are the types you can send with JSON. You can send a string, you can send a number, an object, an array, and true, false, and null. So let me just try and actually show you this, this, how you can use these different values, types inside a JSON document. I'll show you this in Postman. We'll use Postman soon, so I'll try and install it next lesson and try and show you what it is. Um, but you can actually, again, you can see that if I look at the drawing right here, if I go to the top again, let's start by defining an object. That's what we want to do right here. So I'll define an object by putting in curly bracket start end up here, curly bracket start, curly bracket end. There we go. So now I've defined an object, start end curly bracket. Notice right here, start end curly bracket. Now I need to define my first property and I don't care right now. It's just, let's just put in name right here. And name should be what we call as a value type string. So in my case, my name is going to be uh, Ole. That's going to be the name. I'll do a comma right here. And then the next I'll try and show you is a number. So what I'll do is I'll actually put in a number here. I'll just say age for now and let's say 20, right? So I'll do a comma again. I'll put in another property and let's make it, just make it an array for now. I'll get back to object in a second. So showing you an array right here. So he has, let's just say friends like this. And now we can make an array by putting in square brackets 
And then let's put in some IDs for his friends. So I'll just put in one, two, three. That's his three friends he has available. Okay, so that's how you make an array inside your JSON. And then we can keep going. I could also make a Boolean value, true or false. And that's pretty much just by saying, um, uh, boy, I don't know. I'm just coming up with stuff right here. Let's say he's a boy. <laughs> Probably a bad name to explain that, but okay. And then the final thing is null. So let's just say he has, does he have any parents information right here? No, that's null. He doesn't have the information available. So this, these are, are how you can define different values. Now I skipped the object one. So let's just um, add an object right here, best friend, like this, and let's just put in, then you can just start again. So I'm just going to add new curly brackets, and then I can start defining a new object inside this object, right? So I'll put in the best friend right here, I'll put in his, his, um, his name maybe. No, I actually, I'm just going to put in his ID because I don't want to start defining too much information. And notice right here, it actually helps me, Postman will dive into this again, but since I forgot a comma right here, it actually tells me there's something wrong, it's a big red X right here, I'll just do a comma, and there we go. Now we defined an actual object, this is a, I guess this is a person of some kind, he has some friends, he's a boy I guess, and he doesn't have any parents, parent information in here, and his best friend is somebody with an ID of 23. So maybe 23 should be up here as well, I, I'm just coming up with, with stuff right here. So. That's how you define objects inside um, JSON, and that's how you work with the JSON. So check this out, json.org, there's a lot of great information in here if you want to dive more into JSON. See you next time where we're going to look at Postman, have fun.